Hey, it's Rob here from Elasto Proxy, and today I'm going to explain how to determine whether you need solid rubber or sponge rubber. For starters, what are you using the rubber for? Let's say you're trying to seal a door. You'll need to know how much weight the rubber must withstand. Is the door heavy? Then using a soft sponge rubber could result in a compression set. That means that the seal will not return to its original dimension when the weight of the heavy door is removed. Durometer, the hardness of the rubber, is especially important here. Sponge rubber is usually softer, but that's not always the case. You could use a solid rubber that is too soft for, let's say, a rubber bumper. The number of cycles and the environment matter as well. With a door, is the weight fairly constant or will the door be open and closed all day? Well, what about exposure to water and fuels? Typically, sponge rubber is used for cushioning, shock absorption, vibration dampening, weather stripping, or soundproofing. It's also used in thermal insulation and filters. Solid rubber is typically used in shock absorbers, truck bumpers, and anti-vibration pads for vehicles, machinery, and equipment. It can provide sound deadening as well. Do you need solid rubber or sponge rubber? The answer to that question is, it depends, but Elasto Proxy is here to help.